Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and today is day 13 of Squaretober where I take a 4x4 four four inch square of watercolor paper, make a small piece of art on it, and upload every day in October. Today I'm going to share my project with you a little bit differently. I'm going to tell you how I did it step by step. I use the Daniel Smith Essentials Mixing Set, and there are six colors in that set. So I made six concentric circles. Then I divided them into six equal pieces of pie. In each piece of pie, I painted each one of the colors from the set. I painted them in the order from sort of a rainbow. I started with Hansa Yellow Light, went to New Gamboge, then Pyrrol Scarlet and Quinacridone Rose, then French Ultramarine, and finally Thalo Blue. I let everything dry, and then I started with Hansa Yellow Light, and I painted it in the second concentric circle portion of the new Gamboge piece of pie. Still using Hansa Yellow Light, I painted in the third concentric circle of the Pyrrol Scarlet piece of pie. And moving on to Quinacridone Rose, still using Hansa Yellow Light, I placed it in the fourth concentric circle of Quinacridone Rose. And still using Hansa Yellow Light, I moved over to the French Ultramarine piece of pie and painted in the fifth concentric circle. Then I moved on to the thalo blue section and painted it in the sixth concentric circle. You're probably getting the idea now how the pattern works. I'm gonna take the new gamboge and paint it into the second concentric circle of the pyrrol scarlet. Then we're going to put New Gamboge in the third concentric circle of Quinacridone Rose. Next I take New Gamboge and I paint it in the fourth concentric circle of French Ultramarine. Then New Gamboge goes into the fifth concentric circle of Thalo Blue and then the sixth concentric circle of Hansa Yellow Light. Now we're going to move on to Pyrrol Scarlet and we're going to put it in the second concentric circle of the Quinacridone Rose. Then the Pyrrol Scarlet is going to go in the third concentric circle of the French Ultramarine. Then it'll go in the fourth concentric circle of the Thalo Blue. Then in the fifth concentric circle of Hansa Yellow Light, and then finally in the sixth concentric circle of New Gamboge. I think you probably have a good clear idea of how this works now. Basically when you're looking at each piece of pie, the pie to the left, that color goes in the, the second concentric circle of its neighbor to the right. And then it basically stair steps down until it can't go any further. Now, I'm not sure if I said, but between each piece of pie in the very beginning, I let, I let it dry. Actually, I used a, a hair dryer on it to dry it. Um, you can, you don't have to do that when you're going, you're doing the stair step from one color to the next because it's not right up next to it. And you do have to take a little care. And it's good to do it when you're well rested because it's easy to make a mistake. Like here, I forgot to paint that last little triangle. That's actually pretty easy to fix. Um, I've, I've, I've messed up worse on these, I can tell you. Um, and then I decided to make the colors really pop by going over the dividing lines and making them bolder. And then I used the Sharpie to fill in everything between the border and the mixing chart. And it really makes the colors pop. 
there's something about a dark or a black background that just it makes whatever's in the foreground just come right up off the page and I love that effect. I switched up the format a little bit in this video. I think it's good to do that. It can get a little bit tedious if you do it the same way every night or every day. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that my uploading a video every day is helping you to stay motivated on whatever art challenge you're doing because it can it can be hard to, to stay motivated and keep going, but your comments are doing that for me and I really appreciate it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow night's video. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.